Hey guys, I'm Mike Lowne from TravelCoastForGetOut.com and we're going grocery shopping. <laughs> well, we are going grocery shopping, but we're mostly doing it so I can tell you some good tips on when you do go grocery shopping. Now, this video is for people traveling here. People that live here already know the ins and outs, how to do things, where to get things, what things should cost. So this is mostly for you, the traveler. Okay, now, I've lived in Costa Rica for 12 years. I'm not really sure what's expensive and what's not expensive, but um, I'm sure you would tell me. Okay, so right now, this is February 2018. Uh, the conversion rate is about 570 colonies to $1. Obviously, that can fluctuate. Obviously, the prices I'm, I'm going to tell you in the store can fluctuate. I might be off by 20 cents, 10 cents a little bit, so don't hold me to that. And this video is not really for the prices, actually. It's for the tips. So, about 570 to $1. Uh, 100 colonies. 100 colonies is about 17, 18 cents. All right. Now, tip number one: our store in La Fortuna that everybody goes to, all the tourists, is centrally located, right next to the park. Everybody goes there. Guess what the highest price grocery store in La Fortuna is? It's that one. We have four grocery stores, other grocery stores, not five minute walk from that one. Cheaper. I'm not saying it's a lot cheaper. I'm just saying for the most part cheaper. But no, everybody goes to that one. You'll probably go to that one. So that's why I'm going in that one. So uh, tip number one is just because it's in the center doesn't mean it's the best one to go to. It's probably, when you see a bunch of tourists, it's probably the wrong one. And also a green market is very good to go to if you can find yourself a green market. Every little town, San Jose, they sell produce and fruits and fish and chicken, all kinds of things. So if you can find one of those, that's even better. Uh, tip number two. You're going to want to use colones in the, in the store, okay? Just trust me on that. They're not going to give you the best rate for your dollar. That's it. You try to use colones. Now, if you do use dollars, tip number three is don't use 50s and 100s. They don't like them. They won't take them. They think they're counterfeit, okay? Don't use them. 20s and, and down is better, or, of course, your debit card or that kind of thing is fine. Uh, tip number four, beware of your money. Beware of colones. See, the problem with colones... Kind of looks like Monopoly money. So when you go in the store, you're getting all your snacks and all your stuff. You get to the counter. They say 34,000 colonies. You're like, whatever. It's for bad. You know, you're giving it out. Well, you get back to your hotel and you start looking. Start looking at the receipt. And you go, damn, that was expensive. So be aware. Be aware of that conversion. Be aware of what colonies kind of are. Have a feeling for them. Okay? It's going to help you. All right. So that's about it for now. Let's go. Let's go to the store. See what see what other tips I can tell you. Hey guys, we'll be back in the store in a minute, but I had to hear myself think, so I brought some groceries back here to go over some things. Uh, first off, uh, the stuff I'm going to show you, I don't really eat, so don't start those emails. Mike, I thought you were a healthy eater. What's all this processed food crap you're showing me? Well, anyway, the fact is most people are going, they're on vacation, they're going in the store and they're mostly getting snacks, whether they're taking snacks for a tour, whether they're taking snacks back to the hotel room. Not that that means anything, I'm just saying a lot of people, that's what they're buying. Okay, so first off, you're going to notice in the store, you're going to recognize a lot of brand names. Jif Peanut Butter, this is Nutrella. This is a little jar of Nutrella. This is 615. This is Jif, which I love freaking peanut butter. For uh, FYI, Ticos, Costa Ricans don't really eat peanut butter, so they don't really care how much this costs. Uh, this is 650. I think that's a lot personally. I'm not really sure, but I think it's a lot. Which is going to lead me to my, my fur, or my, uh, another tip. Obviously you recognize Doritos. You probably don't recognize this brand. This bag is about half full. Not sure why. Uh, this is about $2.15, half full bag. This is about the same thing. This is, about a, this is like $1.90 and the bag is full. So, which leads me to the tip. If you recognize a brand, for the most part, the mark, obviously it's going to more than likely be more expensive. All right? Um... Uh, it's also going to lead to another tip. Try something you don't really know. 
You're coming to Costa Rica, man. The whole thing is to get the culture, to get the experience. So get things maybe you wouldn't normally get. So this is a little bag of yuca, uh, yuca chips. These are 65 cents. These are uh, platano chips. These are really good, 85 cents. So those two chips together, you recognize a brand is probably, uh, it's gonna be the most, and try new things. Now, this is a perfect example. These Oreos here, obviously you recognize those. These are uh, three about $3.90. These are my favorite cookie in Costa Rica, uh, Maria's. Maria's, I don't know how you say it, but these are a, these are a buck thirty, and they're good. I actually like them better than Oreos, but uh, that's just me. So try new things. Okay, a couple prices and a couple of little things I want to show you. Uh, white bread, I <laughs> don't eat this either. Two dollars and eighty cents. I don't know, is that a lot? Uh, Coke. Most people get Coke. This is a, uh, a liter and a half. This is uh, about two twenty. I don't know, Coke's everywhere, so this might be the only brand thing that might be, be kind of tad, you know, a, a decent price. Uh, when you're in Fortuna, I'm only going to say this for Fortuna, uh, you don't have to buy these. You can drink the water. When you go to a restaurant, you can get regular water. Don't let them run that scale. Oh, you want bottled water or tap water? You want the tap water. Now, I do recognize the fact that a lot of times you're buying water for tours. Okay, so this water is... A dollar fifteen, not bad, but the opportunity you can drink the water. Now, <laughs> I'm not even going to tell you how much this is. This is Costa Rican ketchup, and it sucks major ass. You will not like it. Do you know why? Because it's full of sugar. It does not taste like the ketchup you are used to. Do not buy this. This is where I'm going to break with tradition. If you love ketchup, you want to stick with like the Heinz. <laughs> okay, this is terrible. Uh, you're going to run across uh, big mounds of these milk cartons, okay? Uh, these are out. This is milk. When I first saw these, it blew my mind, you know? I was like, how do you put milk out? Isn't that supposed to be refrigerator? So it used to freak me out. Now, if you can tell me the answer of why they can set this out, put it in the comments. I'm not going to tell you. But this little milk is, uh, this is about a buck fifty-five. Uh, cheese, which I think is expensive everywhere. This is a little block. I could actually, I'm a cheese lover, even though I don't eat it much anymore because I'm vegan. But uh, I love cheese. I could go through this, you know, in maybe two sittings. This is uh, this is like six fifty for this cheese. But cheese is expensive everywhere, right? Uh, this is a half gallon of milk. This is is refrigerated. Uh, this is a buck eighty five. Okay. All right, anyway, so those tips there were mostly just, uh, if you recognize the brand, probably want to get something different and cheaper, and try new things. Now, don't get me wrong, this, these tips don't just apply to snacks. I'm saying everything. Try fruits. They've got a lot of fruits here you've probably never seen. Get those. They've got a lot of vegetables you've probably never seen. Try those. All right, so anyway, let's go back to the store. i got to tell you about the beer, right? Costa Rica's biggest beer. This is about $7.60. I'd drink that Pilsen right there. Same price, more alcohol content than the Pilsen. <laughs> anyway guys, the problem, with, the problem with me being a vegan now, um, health food stuff to me is expensive here. It sucks major ass to eat good or to eat the stuff I want. So this almond milk is like $9 or $9.50, something like that. It's terrible. This hemp, this hemp, I put this in a lot of stuff, my smoothies and stuff, this is like $8.50. Quinoa, which lasts me three dinners, is, uh, this is about $3.50. So, now, luckily, come over here, the produce and the fruits are reasonable, so you, you, those are good, so... Papaya, about a buck twenty. Bananas, ten cents a piece. Avocados are usually by the pound, but they're they're like on average about a buck fifty an avocado. Now the meat section, I don't eat meat anymore, but I would recommend going to a butcher. Get the meat you want. It's going to be much better at a butcher. Almost all towns got two or three butchers at them. So leave the grocery store, get the meat you really want, and go to a butcher.
Now, probably the biggest tip I can tell you, and it's big, this is huge. When you buy celery, you probably won't have to buy this whole stack, but guess what? If you just want one piece of celery, you can take one piece of celery, and you can do that for anything here, not just the celery. So, up at the counter, you need, a, you need an aspirin, you can get one aspirin. You need cold medicine, you can get two tablets. You need a Band-Aid, you can get one Band-Aid. That's huge, and it's big here. So, instead of buying a whole, whole thing of salary or a whole bottle of aspirin, you can just get the quantity you need, all right? That's a big tip, because most people don't know that. Hey guys, the bottom line is really anywhere in the world you grocery shop, you gotta be a smart shopper, you know? But in Costa Rica, you can, do the, you can follow some of these tips and be a smarter shopper, all right? So here's the tips again, real quick. Uh, you don't have to go to the central main grocery store. There might be some other ones in the area cheaper. Uh, green market is even better. Uh, you gotta use colonies. It's gonna save you some dollars and cents. If you do use dollars, you can't use uh, 50s and 100s. They think they're fake. Um, know your money, man. It's not monopoly money. Be aware of what the rates are and stuff. Be aware. Um, if you, if, you, if you recognize the brand or the mark, like haagen you know, it's import, man. It's import. It's going to be more expensive, okay? Um, try new things. Costa Rica's got some good stuff, all right? Their snacks. they got good things. Platinos, man. Yucca, yucca chips and stuff. It's really good. Uh, uh, produce and fr uh, fruit is uh, reasonably priced. If you go to the meat market or you want to go to the butcher, instead of really getting your meat at the grocery store, you're going to get... Uh, more what you want. Uh, remember, buying one item is way big down here. Hey, if you don't need the whole thing of salary, get one, one aspirin. All right, uh, that's kind of big. And hey, man, the ketchup does suck here. Trust me on that. Anyway, guys, I'm Michael Allen, travelgoesweekendout.com. Peace, guys. Hope it helps.